we've already talked a lot about aspiration. It occurs in free variation, so it can be the onset of a syllable, tear, tip, and it can also occur as uh, a coda. So in a coda position, we can say um, what, um, set, and I can still have that aspiration. We're going to talk about unreleased stops, and those are different than aspiration, and basically our tongue will, or our articulators, will go into the position for the stop, and it will hold the articulatory gesture, for example. I could say, with aspiration, you bet, or I could use an unreleased stop, and it would look like this. You bet. You bet my tongue goes up to the alveolar ridge and holds its position. Uh, that is an unreleased uh, T. And we would show that with a diacritic, uh, a little corner uh, at the edge um, of that um, symbol. This is not the same as a glottal stop. If I say, you bet, my tongue goes up and holds the, the gesture. If I say, you bet, the point of constriction is actually placed uh, way back here. That is a glottal stop. Uh, we can do it with other stops as well. Um, we could say, um, that's bad. That's bad. Um, I could say, want a sip? Want a sip? And that again is different than want to sip, where it's released and has aspiration. Um, get in the tub. Get in the tub. So these are uh, stops that are unreleased. Um, they're not omitted. Uh, they're just held in place uh, with the um, articulatory, articulatory gesture just held. When two voiceless stops occur together at the end of a syllable, we tend to hold the first one and release the second one. This isn't difficult to figure out if you try, um, try saying them. Uh, uh, if I were to say uh, stacked, uh, I tend to hold the k and release the t. Stacked. If I try using other allophones in those positions, you will hear that it's going to not work well. So I'll try releasing both. Stack. Stacked too much. Uh, if I try um, releasing the k and not releasing the t, I would get stack. <laughs> and obviously that won't work because if I put my tongue into the position for the gesture after a k and hold it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't make uh, a sound. Uh, I just put my tongue there and and it doesn't it doesn't. Um, produce sound. So um, those shouldn't be difficult, but in general when we have two voiceless stops uh, in a row, uh, you do not release the first and you do release the second.